everybody. Thanks for joining me for Pilates today. The equipment that we'll be using is two hand weights and a short band. Let's get into our core activation work. So laying flat on your back here. And we're just gonna go with our hands flat on the floor and let's work on an imprinted spine. So where we push the lower back flat into the floor, press and release. And press and release. So let's start adding on a breath. So as we press and imprint the spine, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's do it. Press in, exhale, keep the press and relax. Let's go two more times. Pressing down and relax. And last one, press. Okay, now we're gonna maintain the imprinted spine from here and let's go reaching just one leg up to tabletop and other leg and then tap down and down, alternating. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Keep the imprinted spine the whole time. Keep pulling the shoulders down into the floor, keeping the chest open. And let's go four. No rush, three. And last one. Okay, now let's go with our hands reaching all the way overhead from here. Now you have the option, you have two options. We're gonna go either with the hands crossed and have the hands, sorry, have the head hanging in between the arms from here, or you can have the arms crossed all the way over Whatever option that you choose, we just want to make sure that you can't see your arms, your hands out of your peripheral vision, okay? So your arms are acting as a, as a counterbalance to pull you back down, adding a little bit more load through the core. Okay, so reaching over and let's go. You can keep the feet flat on the floor and we're going to rise up and lower down. Rising up and lower. So if you want a progression from here, the option is you can go into tabletop, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, or you could be fully extended through the legs. Lift, and lower. So those three options, they're all good. Choose whatever you wanna do, whatever feels good for your back. And let's go five more. We should be feeling our core. So I feel right up nice and high. Two, and up and hold on your next one. And now let's go pulses. Lift and lift. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. No momentum here. You're controlling on the way back down as well. And let's go four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, rolling all the way down. Okay, have a little breather. And we're going to go with our feet flat on the floor now, pulling them back up, flattening the back down. Feel free to readjust, imprint your spine again. And now from here, we're going to go reaching your right hand towards your right heel as we come up with the chest and then lower all the way back down. Then other side, twist and lower. Let's keep it going. Twist and down, twist and down, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, now holding a sit up, we can go hands back behind your head. You can just have the fingers clasped together this time and elbows can reach out. And now from here, we're gonna go pushing the feet away as far as you can maintain an imprinted spine. Okay, so push. And then draw it all the way back in from there. And pushing back away. And drawing all the way back in, keep imprinting. Lift your chest up as high as you can. Let's go two more. And last one. And drawing it all the way back in. And now let's go 10 little sit-ups. 10, seven, five, and one, nice and dropping it down. So I'm hoping that our core is feeling a little bit warmer now. 
Okay, getting into our glute uh, activation work now. From here, let's go feet flat on the floor and we're just gonna lift one leg straight up and then extend, bend and lower all the way back down and other side lifting up, extend, bend and lower. Let's go four more. Three. And last one. And lower. Rolling all the way down. So if the bridge work aggravates your lower back, you're more than welcome to come up into a little sit up and then do that sort of work from there again. Okay, having the core um, switched on a little bit more tends to help keep it out of the lower back because if the, this isn't active, then your back is having to hold quite a lot of load in that extended position in the bridge there. All right, let's lie on our side. We're just gonna do some sideline glute work now without any weight, any of the resistance, just as our activator. And then when we use the bands, we're actually gonna come up to standing today. Okay, so let's just go either hand to your head or your head to your shoulder, whatever's comfortable for you. And let's go both legs straight. We're gonna lift straight up and down, up and down. Good. So try and keep this tempo. It's a little bit faster than we would usually work in um, our sideline glute, but we don't have any resistance, so you can control it down and all the way back up. And we just want to keep the leg parallel to the floor, okay? We're not turning it out too much. We're turning it all the way in. And just reaching up and down. Let's go four more. Three, two, and holding it up from here. And let's go pulse and pulse. So from here, with the side lying glute work, the lateral movement, it's normal to feel like it's in the side of the hip, okay? Rather than it being right towards the back. And let's go four, three, two, and tapping forward. Up, back, and up. So you don't have to tap the floor, especially if it feels like it's really pulling you out of alignment. Try and keep stacked from here. Let's go four more. Three, keep your core active, two, and last one, and one. And last exercise, you can bring the front hand forward here, and we're just going to reach straight back and in, back and in. Squeeze through your bottom, straight line from the foot as we draw back and straight back in. Let's go four more, three, two. And one little pulses back and back. Trying not to sway through the shoulders and the hips. Everything is fixed. Squeeze and squeeze. Let's go six, five, four, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay, let's do all of that on the other side. So we're rolling over. And we're reaching straight up and lower. Up and lower. Remember your hand can be to your head or to your shoulder from here. Keep your core active, rib cage is down towards your hips. Shoulder is down away from your ear, especially on the top side, you tend to start shrugging here. Let's go five, four, three, two, and hold it up, pulses, lift and lift. Fourteen and sixteen, tapping forward and up to the back and lift forward. So notice my hips aren't swaying as I move. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Four more. Three, two. Definitely feeling my top leg now. And last one. And lift straight back and in, back and in, let's do five more, four, three, two, and little pulses, back, two, three, four, let's go twelve, six, halfway, nine, ten, 
11, and 12. Nicely done. Drawing it in. Okay, so we've warmed up through our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads, our core. Let's just do a little bit of upper body um, to warm us up and then we'll get into our um, more loaded work. Okay, so from here, let's go with our arms nice and straight. And we're just gonna start with your body in a four point kneel. So your knees are stacked directly underneath your hips. And we're gonna be shifting forward, coming into a push up, rising up and shift back onto the knees. So the aim here when we shift forward is to try and keep the forearms vertical, okay? So the elbow stays stacked above your wrists. We're trying not to go too far back from here, okay? So we're shifting shoulders over the hands, elbows are stacked and then we bend. Rise all the way back up, push the elbows forward and then shift back. So when you're in your push up, imagine that my hand is here, pushing your elbow back forward as we rise back up to the ceiling, okay? And now let's go four more. It's tricky. Let's go four. Three. Two. And last one. And pushing back. Nice. Let's just do a little bit of a warm up for our wrists here. So thumbs are together and your hands are scrolling out to the side. I'll just show you from front on like this. And then we're gonna circle through the shoulders. And reverse. Circle and circle. Three and four. Nice, okay. Have a little drink, have a little breather and let's go into um, our upper body work first. So we're gonna grab our hand weights. Coming into our upper body work, you're more than welcome to sit or you can stand. I just ask that we avoid sitting where our hips aren't square, okay? So you can either sit flat on the bottom, you could have the legs extended, or you could tuck under and sit on your heels. I like this way. Okay, so let's go with the arms dropping down next to our sides from here, sitting up and out of the hips or lengthening out of the hips if you're standing, and rib cages reaching down towards our hips as well, keeping our core active, especially when we go overhead, people want to lose that range. So let's keep pulling down and just start working on our shoulder mobility as well. All right, let's do it. So we're going to go arms reaching out, rotate, coming down, and rotate back. Lift, up down and back. So we're starting to feel through the shoulders. If you're not quite feeling this after say eight reps, you can start slowing it down a little bit and working with the shorter range. Let's go four more. Three. Two. And last one. And down. Okay, so rising all the way back up, let's bend the elbows in. So our wrists are stacked above the elbows and we're just gonna go forward, away, lift and lower. Forward, away, lift. Good. Let's go four more. Try and keep the elbows up in line with the shoulders and above. Rib cage, two. And last one. Away. And now let's go rotate and lift. Rotate and lift. So the elbows are in line with our shoulder. Out to the side. Try not to let them come too far forward here or too far back where we start to flare. And rotate down. And lift. let's go four more. Three. Two. And one, holding it down, and we're gonna lower the elbows down to meet our ribs, and then rise straight back up. Lower, and rise. Let's go five. Three. Two. And holding it up on the next one, and pulse. Pulse. Eight, eight more. Five, three, two, and one. Drawing it down. Okay, 
hoping that we're starting to feel the shoulders, making sure we're not letting them rise up near our ears, okay? Keep pushing them down and away, trying to build a nice, strong posture um, that we would naturally fall into rather than our sort of slouching, okay? Especially if you're spending a little bit more time sitting down. If you're working from home, we're going to try and really create some um, opening through the chest, okay? Let's go hinging forward, and we're just going to keep the arms straight now, tapping down and lift. So working through the triceps now, the backs of your arms. Let's go six, five, four. On your last one, we're gonna hold it up. Three, two, and holding it up here. And now let's bend and reach. Bend, squeeze, get a little pause as we extend the arm. Elbows up as high as you can. We're just hinging from the elbow, okay? So we're not drawing it all the way down and swinging the arms here. Keep them fixed. We're just extending and bending. Let's go five more. Four, three, two, and one. Back to the first move. Now we're going to shorten our range. So lift and lift. We've got 12, four, five, nine, ten, eleven. Holding it up and little ones, 12 here. Seven, six, four, two, and one. And let's go all the way in front, all the way back. Arms can stay straight. Let's go four more. Three, no swinging. Two, and last one. And one. Nice work. Drawing it down. Okay, and we're going to go into some bicep curls from here. We're going to start bringing the range up after each sort of set. Okay, so we're going to do, um, let's do eight, eight reps at each. If you're finding that's not enough for you, you can just add on. Okay, so starting nice and low, let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting the arms and eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Elevating again. Second last height. Try and have them at least in line with the shoulders now. Four more. Three, two, and one. Last one. Eight, seven. Four, three, two, and hold the bend. And now let's lower and rise. Lower and rise. Six more here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down. Nicely done. Okay, let's give our arms a little bit of a stretch taking it across. And I like to move through this range here, lifting up and down. And other side, across and down. Two more. And last one. Good. Now let's just do a stretch through the front of the chest before we move on to our glute work. So laying flat on your belly, arms reaching straight out to the side. And then we're gonna keep one hand fixed. So I'll, I'll face the back to you first. So we're gonna keep this one in line with the shoulder as we roll back. And then you can reach this top hand away. If that uh, doesn't um, give you much of a stretch or it feels too restrictive, some people like to have the arm bent and then we roll away from there. And coming down, let's go other side. Okay. So when you're ready, let's grab the little band and we're gonna come up to standing. 
And then let's place the band either around your, um, you can range it from either just below the knee and just above the ankle. The closer it is to your ankle, um, I find the harder it works uh, through the glutes. So just see how you feel. If you're unsure, just go with it sort of around your calves midway here. Okay, so we're focusing a little bit on stability today in terms of balance, um, as well as the abduction, the glute med and glute minor here working on the side. So from here, they're gonna shift into one side. You can hold something if you need to, um, but I do want you to try and focus on pulling it away as far as you can and controlling it in as well. Okay, we're trying not to swing it back and then just let the band pull you back in. Okay, so keeping some tension on the band the whole time once we've started. So holding it out here and let's just reach straight out and control back in. Rib cage down. Out and in. So remember if it gets too tough, instead of taking the band off, you can always pull it up towards your knees, okay? And your range will also be a little bit bigger when it's closer to your knee as well. Let's go rib cage down and we'll go four more. Three, get two, and holding it out on our next one. And now we're gonna bend your supporting leg, tapping the heel on the outside towards the floor, then rising straight back up. And we wanna think about the knee alignment on the bottom leg now. So we're trying not to dip it in and out from here, straight down and straight back up. It's normal to feel the quad, especially when we're dipping the knee forward. Out and in. Let's go six, five, four, two, and one. Okay, holding it out and let's go pulses straight leg. Shoulders relax. Eight more. Normal to feel your supporting leg a lot more than the working leg. Seven, and hold it out. Eight pulses with the bent leg. Two, three. If you're feeling up to it, let's do another eight after this. And eight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's do the other side now. Just to give that one a bit of a breather. So shifting our weight. Transfer, let's go out and in. Away, controlling in and in. Good. So we want to tend we tend to want to lean to one side here. Try and be as stacked as you can on top of the bottom leg. Let's go four more. Two. And holding it out. And now let's tap and lift. Tap and lift. Remembering the knee alignment here, trying not to swivel too much. Tapping straight down and up. Let's go six more. Three, two, and one. Keeping the legs straight and let's go pulses out to the side for 16. Control it in, eight more. Use your breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And let's go pulse, two, bending the knee. Eight more if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, okay. Have a little breather, have a little massage, do whatever you need to do. And then we're gonna go into some walks. So walking the distance of your mat is plenty, okay? Otherwise just work with four to one side and then come back with four. Okay, I do wanna try and keep this in our glutes and our hamstrings more than our quads this time. So when we go for the walk, we want it to be a hip initiation with our, our hinge pattern here, rather than dipping the knees forward and then going, okay? Because that's gonna load up through the quads. So let's push the hips back, chest can come forward slightly, rib cage down towards your hips. And we wanna start with the band, or oh, sorry, your, your feet about hip distance apart, okay? And this is the narrowest point that we're gonna step back into. So this is our starting, and then we're gonna step away and then 
control straight back into that position. Okay, keeping tension on the bands the whole time, reaching away and in. We're avoiding this where we're using our, our momentum and we're leaving our chest behind, okay? Keep your yourself stacked above your hips and we're walking out and out, then back. Good. And see if you can sink a little bit lower. Now, if you're feeling more quads than glutes, let's think about pushing the tailbone back, rib cages forward. So if you're, I'll just show you from a different angle, if you're struggling with this uh, positioning a little bit, the hips go back and then we bend our knees. But notice my knees are still pretty well stacked above my ankles as opposed to here where we dip down. Okay, so we shouldn't be in this alignment. We should be hinged back. Okay, let's keep it moving. Out. And back. Let's go four more. Two more. And last one. Three and four. So we're going to face uh, the back now and we're going to walk backwards, keeping our feet hip distance apart again. We're going to step back. And now you can scoop the leg in and then draw away, but we do want to keep that hip distance as we land, okay? So we scoop in and back, in and away. And back forward. Two, three, try and do six, five, and six. Okay, I'll show you from front on. Keep it going. And in and away. Three, four, and six and back two five six one more feeling our glutes one and back two three three more and in nicely done okay have a little breather if you want to have a stretch go for it now and then we're going to do just one last one standing up here alternating legs out to the side so lift and control in lift and control there's no rush i don't want to see uh the the swinging okay staying stacked reset each time and down. reach and down remember our breath in through the nose out through the mouth shoulders down rib cage to hips let's go four more three and one little pulses at ten nine five three two last one other side ten Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay. One last exercise for our, uh, our glutes here. We're gonna lay flat on our back. Let's go with the bend up above our knees. And we're gonna go with the feet really wide from here. So it's much wider than we would usually do in like a, a glute bridge position. We're not actually elevating the bottom here though, okay? So just take the feet away. Your knees are dropping in together and we're just going to pull the knees out to be square with the feet and then draw it all the way back in. So I'm going to readjust mine. I think mine were a little bit too wide. I wasn't able to meet where my feet were. So you want to make sure that your knees can get to the width of your feet and then control it all the way back in. And reach away and control in. So you might start to feel your inner thighs working a little bit here to resist against the bend. That's normal. Okay, let's keep imprinting the spine now that we're laying flat on our back. And let's go two more, then we'll pulse it. Your option if you if you want to progress from here is to lift the chest up and hold a sit up. Okay, let's hold the legs out and little ones, let's go out and out. 16. 10 more. Six. Three two and back to our full range now let's not draw the knees all the way back in so we'll draw them in just hover 
leave like a five centimeter gap and then reach all the way back away. You don't have to keep a sit up. Let's keep moving through this range here. Let's go four, three, two, and back to our pulses reaching out, two, three, sixteen, ten more, six, five, three, two, last set here, all the way in, hover, and out. Get a little pause as we reach out on this last step. And up, hold, and in. And away. Let's go three more. Two. And last one, holding it out. Last pulses, 16, let's do it. Ten, six, five, four, two, and one. Nicely done. Okay, let's take the band off. Feel free to have a little stretch here on either side. Grab a drink, and then we're going to return back for some core work. Core work to uh, finish us off. We're going to start with 100. So this is a really old school uh, Pilates exercise. It's from um, our Contrology era. So we're going to start laying flat on our back from here and we're going to imprint the spine. Let's roll all the way up during rib cage towards your hips. This is your first option from here, okay? So you can just keep the feet down. Second option is legs in tabletop and third option is legs in a hollow. Alrighty. Elevating the arms, the movement is coming from your shoulders rather than your elbows bending and extending, okay? So reaching straight up and straight down. And your breath is in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. I'll keep counting us, keep drawing your chin towards your chest, lift the chest up as high as you can, halfway. Thirty more. Twenty. And relax. Okay, we're gonna do that again. If your neck was really sore um, towards the end, just keep one hand behind your head and then do it one arm for the first 50. I'll let you know when we're halfway and then you can swap back over, okay? Getting ready, if you wanna progress, if you feel like it didn't challenge your core as much as it probably could have, let's either elevate the feet to tabletop or elevate them to a hollow, okay? And then let's go setting up, drawing rib cage towards your hips adjusting your legs to wherever you want them to be arms are reaching out i'll do the swapping of the arms for this round for anyone else who wants to join in with me and let's go in two three four five and out And swapping halfway. And relaxing, nice work. Okay, bring our feet down into a frog position from here. So our feet are drawing together. And now I want you to push the feet together as hard as you can. So your heels and the toes, the balls of the feet are all in contact. And now from here, imagine I'm coming up holding your ankles and trying to pull your feet apart, but you're squeezing them together, okay? So squeeze the feet together. And now we're gonna just move the knees up slightly and then push them back down. So I'm hoping that this works through your inner thighs. And we're also gonna add a sit up as we move the legs. So we're working inner thighs and core at the same time. 
So hands go back behind your head, squeeze the feet together, and let's go lift as we rise up with the knees, and then lower. So don't just let the legs drop back out, you're controlling them back down the whole time. Imagine you've got a piece of paper, another visual, imagine you've got a piece of paper in between your feet and no one can pull the paper out. Okay, and let's do it. Rising up, and lower, and up. Let's go six more. Four. Three. Two more. And last one. Good. And now let's go alternating, lifting your foot up, right hand to left knee, and lower back down. Lift and lower. Twist across and lower. Let's go four more. Three, two, and one. Just in the center, rise, lower, lower. Let's go four more. Three, two, and last one, holding it up, little pulses, 10, nine, five, three, two, and one, lowering down. Have a little breather. So we're gonna do that sequence again, just from the elevated foot. So twisting across, and down, across, and down. Let's go six more, five, Three, two, and last one. One, and to the center, full range. Eight here. Six. Four. Three, two, and one, holding it up. Pulses, 10, nine. Four. And one, nicely done. Have a little breather. You can have a stretch if you want or if you just prefer to lay here, you can do that too. Okay, the next exercise, I'm gonna show you the full option and then I'll show you the um, regressions or other scaling options from there. Okay, so the first one, we're gonna go with that hands in front of you and then the legs are elevated from here. You can have them straight or bent and we're gonna tap up and down. Up and down. Reach. You can go bent. Okay, the next option you can be on your elbows and you could just go lift, lower, lift, lower. If you want to push up off the elbows, you can up onto the hands. And then your last option if you just want to stay flat and lift and lift. Okay? Whatever option you would like to do, let's try and work through eight reps of it now. Um, we're going to do this twice through, eight reps, have a breather, another eight reps, then we're going to get into some static holds, and then we're going to do a little bit of stretching, and then that's going to do us, okay? So let's go. Eight reps, whatever you're ready. Up. Four. Three. Two, and one. Have a breather. It's normal to feel your hip flexors and quads a little bit in this one as well. Whether you have the legs straight or not. Okay, let's do our last eight, and then we're gonna hold it, and then that'll do us. Let's do eight, seven, four, three, two, and one, little breather. Okay, and coming up. Now you can either hold with a bent leg or a straight leg, rolling back off the tailbone. If you need to hold the legs, you can. Otherwise, let's letting them, let them go. And 30 second hold here. Keep using your breath in through the nose 
out through the mouth. Hold, squeeze the feet together, wherever you are. Five, sorry, 10 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Rolling down, nicely done. Okay, let's pull one leg up towards us. You can hold your leg wherever it feels um, like a six out of 10 stretch for you. And let's just bend that leg and take it over. And other side when you're ready, lifting up. And taking it across. Keep drawing the opposite shoulder down towards the floor. And let's go rolling over onto our belly now. Coming up into our cobra here, you can be on your elbows or you can roll down and push up off the hands. Okay, and from here, let's push back into a child's pose and we're gonna move through this range. Pushing down and rolling back, rolling through. Sitting up and out of the shoulders and pushing back. And through. Let's go three more. Two. And last one. And bringing one leg forward for a lunge. And we'll push back and forward. Good, two more. And last one. And let's go other side for your lunge. And pushing back. And forward. Two more. And throwing all the way in. Nicely done. So feel free to do any other stretches that you want to do. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's uh, write down any questions that you have in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Thank you.